there's this <laughs> Second place and Goku's just falling down the order now as well as Hero gets up into P3. Pepper's gonna knock down the inside for the lead here in Indianapolis. Well, 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 ladies and gentlemen, we are here in Mid Ohio. For the Mid Ohio Grand Prix, obviously. <laughs> um, I am once again joined by my good old friend War. Okay. And it's definitely going to be an interesting race here. Uh, we have seen just in qualifying alone that the racing can be quite well as the drivers start underway for their pace lap. Um, and for your qualifying order, I will leave that to my friend War, so take it away. Okay, so today we have Messi on pole. Listen. We have Pepper in second. Anna's in third. Kimmy following up after him. Finds you following up after Kimmy. Art following along. We have Mia Ten, Nathan, Ethan, Daniel, Jenical, King, Pumpkin, just about at the last position, and Cyber, unfortunately, in the last place. Well then, it's definitely going to be an interesting race here. It's going to be interesting to see how everyone goes through that final corner. Messi on pole position. We are green here at Mid-Ohio. That blue line there marks the start of the race, but it will not start anywhere else. And Pepper down the inside of Messi. Ooh, at... on the inside. Ooh. And Pepper yeah, now has the lead. Messi trying to line up for an overtake here going up the hill here into turn eight and nine down the inside of turn nine he's gonna hit the sausage curb he's gonna go wide but he's still gonna be in position but now on us it's gonna be side by side with him as they go through this fast left ender messi's just gonna corner cut it and not bother with trying to take the racing sorry line to interrupt we have daniel flip back on the track at <laughs> at turn five. Oh, and already we have a casualty We'll oh have to wait and see if a safety car. Oh, oh no, it's down the inside of turn one of Messi. They're going to be side by side into the hairpin. Pepper's starting to run away with the lead, and Messi just backs out of it. Let's on us have the lead. Messi not really fighting for the lead, but now he's going to be under pressure from Kimmy, and there is not going to be a caution for Daniel, which is really going to hurt his race. Just behind Messi, they're going to be side by side. Miatin and Art will ride on board with Miatin here as they go into, uh, I believe, turn four. Art down the inside, Messi down the inside of Kimmy, really trying Mi Miatin down the inside of Art. They're still side by side. A lot of battling, but Pepper continues to run away with the lead. Now finds he starts looking for way past Miatin, and Arnos is catching up to Pepper up ahead as they go downhill. Messi clips that sausage curb again, a very aggressive curb. And now it's a three way battle for P5 here between Miatin. Art and finds the end. We have a caution, and it's gonna be for Lowly. And we'll go on yeah, board. Is, he is flipped. He is on his roof in turn nine. Oh dear. Must have hit one of those sausage curbs. We saw it in qualifying from Messi, and we see it again. That sausage curb in turn nine, you get under it the wrong way. It really just throws your car around. And I mean. For Loli's sake, he's gonna really want to hope that Daniel it doesn't ram into him. We'll have to wait and see here. <laughs> and Daniel, <laughs> Daniel does avoid the wreck, and we will go on board with our race leader Pepper. <sighs> very, Damn. very amazing, very good start from Pepper and Anna's, especially a very good start from um. Kimmy there as well, able to take advantage of the battle that was occurring ahead of him and was able to get ahead of Messi. Messi not having the raid start, I imagine he would have wanted. However, it seems like he was prepared for that type of 
bad start. He seemed to really not be fighting for the lead that much. Maybe some sort of just maybe just knowing that he's not able to fight for the lead what we'll to see but for now the laps get reset as we remain under caution here in Ohio the pits are open this time so I imagine we're gonna have one more lap of caution as well and I believe low no oh. low what Nathan just got punted off to the side by Cynical, it seems like. Um, a little bit of a pit maneuver there. <laughs> so, a little bit of content now, a little bit of tomfoolery up ahead as on us overtakes Pepper a little bit and gets on the brakes as they go uphill, but no harm, no foul. Pepper will take the lead back. We are not going to go green this time by, I would assume not. Pepper stays out oh. on us pits though. So does Kimmy, Messi, Nathan, a lot of people pitting as well. Nathan pits, Pumpkin pits, Cyber pits, Daniel pits, and now Pepper will have the lead. Followed by Milton finds the Art Cynical and King. Excuse me. Race control telling the leaders they can speed up if they so please to, but they're gonna have to slow back down here. And I don't think Pepper realizes that the hairpin is turned too, so <laughs> a little bit too quick there, but he will he'll figure it out and he'll slow down. So so far a very, very chaotic start. However, unlike last time that blue line will not represent the starting line or the restart zone, I should say, excuse me. That blue line will not count as the, re as the restart zone. There is a restart zone on the front stretch that will be used for the rest of the race. And so we look forward to seeing how this goes. Pepper leads, followed by Miaton, and finds the Art, Seneca, and King. Anna's managed to get up into that little pack. However, I'm sure he's a little bit further behind. But the tire wear around here, just from what I was able to mention, has been quite atrocious and I mean now we see a bunch of clouds moving in a very overcast and now oh wow and now it's actually even raining <laughs> however <laughs> yeah, a little bit of a light drizzle uh yeah didn't see this coming in on the radio radar today but uh just a small little patch race control telling the drivers to slow down quite a bit it is just a small patch of rain according to them, so they should be able to get this race started before the rain takes too much of an effect. But maybe a little bit of a teaser of what's to come into next season. We'll have to wait and see. Yeah. They start approaching the final corner very slow. <laughs> I think Pepper's really starting to hold up the pack trying to see... Trying to see if the rain will go away or not. We might have to restart this race in the rain. And race control Come has on. race control has ordered the drivers to stop. So I guess technically we are under a red flag situation here for the moment as this patch of rain comes in and go on. If I may slip in here real quick. Uh speaking on what may be coming next season. You may have see some of those some other teasers for next season uh in our discord server yep come to look in that link below just saying man that's i thought i thought i was the one that's trying to be a cell out here so we go under red flag here in mid ohio and for the first time ever it's a red flag that actually has a reason behind it <laughs> And yeah, well. well, we'll go onto this camera here that's located on the front stretch. There you can see the two blue lines to represent the restart zone. And this is very unprecedented. Um, I think race control was hoping that the rain would go away a lot sooner than it really is. Mm. And, I mean, this is, huh, this is really new to me. I mean, not exactly a sellout crowd here. We do have at least one fan 
enjoying themselves in the stands. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there they go waving away ads. They notice the cameras on them. But I mean, it, it, it was it was a very decent start for the race for uh, especially for Kimmy. Uh, was was really able to take advantage of the battling ahead of that caution sort of killed his momentum though and then he went into the pits for fresh tires so we'll have to see how much of a benefit those will be yeah absolutely he uh did pretty well in qualifying as well taking the first position in his group um out of the five groups that we sent out well, or rather, that race control sent out. <laughs> so, um, I have no say in who goes. So, yeah. so as we sit here and wait for the rain to dissipate and for this race to get back underway, <laughs> I mean, this is really unprecedented. Do you do you, do you know if race controls put up any more updates? I'm in the chat rooms or anything. I do not see any as of right now. The drivers are certainly chatting with each other and <laughs> their the team. This is this is possibly one of the weirdest <laughs> cautions I think I have ever seen. <laughs> yeah, me attend giving giving good advice on not breaking in the in the grass. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, um, it was a very interesting time. Race control is alerting the drivers of where the restart zone is located, so maybe... Oh, we are starting to get underway, so it yeah. seems like race control is just gonna have a race in the wet tires. And for the first time ever in the Pumu IndyCar series, we are gonna see a restart in the rain, we're gonna see laps in the rain, and we're gonna see Pepper oh. going oh, green. King. And Rex oh, into the pit wall. And numerous vehicles are caught up by it. I'm sorry. Is Kimmy well, the is hard... <laughs> so I mm, right so now, big contact. So big contact into the pit and barrier. That's gonna really kill Kimmy's race. He was having a really good one up until this point. We are still wet here. Look at the spray coming off of the back of these vehicles. We're gonna have to wait and look in behind us, see if anyone has any yeah, problems going I'm through right. the hairpin. Pepper still holds the lead after really getting a really good restart. We will go on board with Feinze, who's just behind Mieten. I mean, look at this. I mean, I really hope no one's using the first person camera right about now because visibility is just about nothing when you're behind another vehicle. When a couple drivers goes wide and go wide out that corner as well. But so far, mostly calm. A lot of them still wide downhill. The rain really messing with the grip levels of this track, as one would expect. And I mean, this is this is this is groundbreaking. Now, actually, finds he might have a move. He's going to be side by side with Meeton as they go down towards turn one. It's going to be interesting to see how this works out. Pepper runs away with the lead. Finds the on the outside, he's gonna back out of turn one, he's gonna give Miet in the corner, but he might be aiming for the hairpin, he is, and he's gonna have a better run into the hairpin, he's gonna have the second place into the hairpin, but Mieten does a switchback move and it's gonna put Feinze and himself still side by side almost, but no, it's gonna put Mieten ahead of him, and that's gonna put Anas right on his tail. The drivers are doing really well to handle themselves in the rain. We had a bit of rain in practice sessions as well, and so the drivers that were there are definitely getting a little bit of an advantage here. A little bit more used to how the rain works, and now Feinze just lightly bumps Mieten a little bit wide, trying to get a move to work. He takes a better line, and he's gonna have the position over Mieten, and now Anos is gonna be part of this battle as well. He's gonna be down the inside of Mieten. No, he's not close enough. Mieten, however, is close enough to Feinze to be side by side with him again. And Anos looking to try and take a better line, a tighter line than the two of them. Not able to do it. 
and finds you will hold the outside as everyone comes storming down the inside of this group. They all go into the wall. The grip is just not there for this battle. Manton clips the pit barrier. That's going to kill his momentum. And if he's thrown the race, it's going to be a surprise. There are three wide into turn one for the podium positions. But it's going to be messy out into the third place. But now they're three wide into the hairpin. Pepper's running away with the lead and Cynical has second place. And now they go into the hairpin. Messi really cuts the hairpin. So does Feinze. I'm not entirely sure race control will enjoy that view. And Messi, uh, excuse me, Anas and Daniel side by side down the back stretch. We will go on board with Anas if the spectate system would allow it. And the rain is stopping, so the storm starts starting to subside. And we're going to see a lot of the grip come back really rapidly. It was really just a light sprinkle, so... I imagine the dry lines will start forming rather quickly. The rain is gone. We are back to sunny weather and Pepper still has the lead. <laughs> and Messi and Daniel now behind on us battling side by side. We will go on board with Messi. The spectate system really not working for me but we will have to make it work. And somewhere behind this battle, Pe Pepper seems to be, excuse me, not Pepper, maybe, uh, no, not Pepper, excuse me, what am I saying? <laughs> oh, and Messi down the inside of Anuts through turn one, very slow turn one from Anuts trying to take it cautiously, and that's going to put Messi up, oh, dive bomb from Anuts into the hairpin, he's going to be able to get the position, the move done there. And that might have also compromised Messi's line because now Daniel's going to be looking to try and go side by side with him and to turn four. Messi trying to expand and extend the line as much as he can. Daniel over the sausage curbs. And for the first time ever, we've had a rain to dry transition as well. <laughs> and the drivers did really well, and I wonder how that's going to look for next season when race control might plan a few races um, regardless of the weather or not. We have been able to avoid the rain so far this season, but not anymore. And Messi's going to be down the inside of Anna's into turn 12. The, almost the final corner, going into the final corner, the little kink. Onto the front stretch, they're still going to be side by side going into turn one. But it's going to be Anna's in the lead. He just has a better run, but Messi's close enough that he's going to have to outside as they go into the hairpin. Maybe looking for a switchback, but it's not going to work. Anna's will still hold on to P2. It's just behind him, the crowd in the pack is starting to spread out. Finally, after a few laps, but Messi and Anas are not spreading out any more than they need to as this battle for P2 continues on. I'm sure they would love to be battling for the win right now, but Pepper just able to stay out of trouble for the most part. However, he is on older tires, so we'll have to wait and see how that affects him later on in this race. Meanwhile, do we have any news from the midfield pack that is a, a battling that is going on or... Nothing too insane. Cynical, however, has been having not the best of races. Going from fighting to catch up to find you for fifth position, all the way to falling down to eighth. Quite unfortunate. I might be proud of and you, DSA. We'll have to see how that goes. Anyways. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, that's the top three beginning to start. Well, actually, Ano says has gone very wide out of turn one, so maybe the tie where it is... The tire wear around this track is quite atrocious as Messi takes a little bit of a artistic, artistic belief of what a racing line in the hairpin is. But it doesn't really give him any benefit over on us. So quite useless corner cut there. We will go on board with Feinze who is in P4 just behind this battle. He has pressure from Daniel and Nathan from behind. I mean... Want to talk about someone who's been having a really underrated season? Oh, oh excuse me. Got some very close pack racing in turn six. Going through wide in some areas and condensing down to two wide in others. <laughs> Cynical no. holding up a little bit of the group. <laughs> uh. Hmm. 
Yeah, as I was saying, you want to talk about someone who's had a very underrated season, Nathan. Oh, I am sorry again. <laughs> Pumpkin has ran into a, a less than visible barrier. Um, <laughs> of course, <laughs> as you do. <laughs> and, has, and he has obviously fallen to the very back of the pack. Unfortunately, other news for the back of the pack, Lowly, after his... When after his wreck on lap one or two is out of this race, he has retired. Okay. They're in the void. You can see his little name, possibly. <laughs> and, I mean, Anaz and Messi are both starting to really rapidly catch up to Pepper now. I think the tie where it's starting to really kick in for Pepper. And actually, as they go uphill and they start heading to turn nine... I mean, Anos is basically right on the tail of Pepper now. And I mean, maybe pitting during that caution was the way to go because now Anos just seems to have a lot more grip than Pepper. And as they head towards the front stretch, Anos is going to be basically right on the tail of Pepper. What has happened? Pepper went from having a two lap lead to basically nothing. And there we see a little bit of input lag from Pepper as well as they go into turn one, him swerving to the right there. Anand needs to be careful though, he needs to rem he needs to remember- Oh! He's gonna send it down the inside of Pepper, he took a much tighter line because of the tire where they're gonna be side by side. But for the moment, Anand will have the lead now. And he will still have the inside into the next upcoming corner. And he's just going to barely be able to close the door maybe on Pepper. No, he's going to leave space. But Pepper wants to be able to dive down his outside into turn 5. And Messi down the inside of the both of them over the sausage curbs. And Baanas will hold on to the lead. And Messi will hold on to P3 for the moment. And oh, contact into the barrier there from Messi. Shoots him off the racing line. Race control telling Feinze he needs to be more careful with his corner cuts. So maybe telling him to stop making them obvious. <laughs> but for the moment, Anaz will have to lead. But Pepper looks down the inside. He's going to be able to force his way side by side with them as they head into turn 13. The final corner and onto the front stretch. But Anaz still with the lead to tire wear. The tired vantage from Anaz here just really showing... Now, and Pepper may have to think about pitting soon as well. Pepper looking to try and set up a bit of a switchback. Unable to do so, but he does take a lot tighter of a line. Excuse me. And they head down the back stretch. Oh, um, we have a flip. We have another flip and turn two. <laughs> it's Cyber. Oh, and, no. And we have another flip, and it's uh, gonna be a caution. So the leaders are gonna race back to see who will lead under the caution. Messi has gone past Pepper. And now Messi might be looking to try and lead under this caution. But he's not gonna be able to do it if he goes over that sausage curb again. <laughs> However, now he's facing pressure from Pepper from behind. So Messi might not even hold on to P2 for the restart. No, he will. Cl pits are closed because it is the lap of the caution, and Anos will lead under caution, and Messi will hold on to P2. Oh, uh, good news! Cyber is back on the wheels, and he is heading. He is heading down turn four, so he's good back in it. Hopefully, to win it, <laughs> maybe. Good for Cyber. I mean, he's had a pretty decent season so far. He has had a really decent season so far. He was a reserve driver for, I believe, Six Gear Motorsport before being upgraded to one of the main drivers for the team. Especially now, with Yidi out for the rest of the season. And this is turning out to be a really good race. I would not imagine a world where Pepper stays out any longer with this caution. I think a lot of people are a little upset that the rain incident, as they're calling it, occurred. 
but then again, no one really suffered from it too much, so. Not really, and we are plenty of laps away from that incident now, so. Not that great. A handful laps since the rain fell down, and a handful of laps until the end. Plenty of room to recover. Any sort of mistake that was made. We'll have to wait and see, though. And I, again, I really do not... I really do not see a world where Pepper does not come into the pits here. The leaders have been told that they can speed up if they would like. The pits are open this time by. And we will go on board onto the camera of the bridge and we will see who does and does not pit. And so far, just about everyone has. Well, really, the bit, <laughs> no, everyone literally has pit. No, not a single person <laughs> has in pit. And now it's going to be a question of who will get out of oh. the pits first. How about a contact between Fine <laughs> Cynical. Huh. And Arnold's will win the race out of the pits, followed by Messi, Pepper. Feinze and Daniel side by side out of the pits. Then Nathan, Pumpkin, King, Kinmi, Cynical, Cyber, Art, and Meaton will hold up the rear of the pack as they get out of the pit lane. Very good job from the on odds pit mm, pit crew there. <laughs> You may have not been able to see them, but they did an excellent job to get him out in front of the pack. Very good job from Pepper's team as well. Yeah, it's quite an honest thing seeing some double box pits, I guess you would call it. Yeah, I don't think Race Control enjoyed looking at that as much as he would have, mm. but... Actually, what has happened to Cynical? He is, very, he is very far behind the rest of the pack. Yeah... Race control telling the leaders they can speed up slightly on this pace lap here. Just trying to speed up the caution process. All the, the track is clear. We're hearing from race control. So we will probably be going green this time by. Anaz will lead it. And we're going to have to see if Pepper will be able to predict his restart. Maybe catch him, catch him napping down the inside of the hairpin. Drivers are allowed to, con or drivers are being told to continue pacing. We have found out that Cynical had an electronic issue. What has happened oh, to Nathan? <laughs> Nathan is going to fall down very far down the order. He has hit an invisible barrier in the grass that is there to prevent major corner cuts. But we approach the restart zone to go green for the third time, and we are green! We are going! In Ohio, and I think Pepper's oh. had an awful restart. Uh, Messi's gonna be side by side with him already on the inside and already ahead of Pepper. Anna's has timed his restart really well. I do not understand what just happened at the back of the pack here, but Hart has fell, fallen back a little bit. And I think he ran into someone. Finds oh. you sent it extremely wide. He might, ooh, he barely got in time. Got back in in time before the oh, tire Oh, they're gonna be up. three wide. <laughs> oh dear. Almost three <laughs> wide, and we're gonna go on board with Feinze, who just went very wide because he is in a very large club. Cyber oh. over the top of Pumpkin, oh, and now he's gonna reach right. on the pack. Big contact yeah. there. That's gonna send a lot of drivers wide. And let me tell you, <laughs> I could not time going on board with Feinze any better. And now Messi's <laughs> gonna be approaching Anos. He's gonna be looking to overtake him for the lead. And race control is very race much control is absolutely <laughs> baffled. <laughs> that is gonna be a warning on on Cyber's name as he goes over the top of another driver and into the side of Feinze. We're going to go on board with Messi for this battle of the lead that is beginning to develop here before our eyes here in Ohio. Pepper not really having the pace I'm sure he would have wanted. Race Control adding a little bit of clarification for the drivers about the penalty point system that was introduced a few races ago. Um, last race, I also made a mistake saying that those were warnings, and those warnings go, and they are warnings, 
but they go against their penalty points and after a certain amount of penalty points you do get a raised ban and Arnold's might have had a bad turn four there but Messi's had an equally bad turn five and Messi I think might have actually been caught up by the pressure of trying to catch up to Arnold's who has been a little bit faster race pace wise because now Pepper is right on his tail and now we're gonna have a battle for P2 and Arnaz is just enjoying his time as he runs away with the lead here now Dan oh my goodness excuse me Daniel down the inside of Pepper they make a bit of contact they're still gonna be side by side and this is the battle for P3 and I thought we were going to have a battle for P2 between Messi and Pepper, but Daniel from out of nowhere has forced his way into this battle. And he might be forcing his way down the inside of Messi or into the airpin. No, he's not close enough. Pepper, however, is close enough and he will be able to take a little bit of an interesting line there. But he will be side by side with Daniel. He's not quite able to get over to Dunn. And as they to turn four, they are a little bit side by side, but Pepper does... Have a bit of a lead. He's actually going to try and cut uh, cut off Daniel. Daniel dives down the inside. Hits the curb hard. Kills all of his momentum. And that was a little bit of a reckless <laughs> move there from both of them. But no harm, no foul. Except for Daniel who really harmed himself. Oh, Pepper almost flips over that sausage curb. And that's going to put Daniel right back on his tail. And that's actually going to give Daniel the run he needs to maybe make a move into the final two corners. We're going to wait and see Daniel through the grass and into the side of Pepper. He's going to be side by side with him onto the front stretch. Oh, and Nathan's hit the pit wall. Big hit into the pit oh, wall. We heard the Nathan engine. collecting me a tin. Or is it sending Cyber off to the side? Oh, man. Oh. So Daniel down the inside of Pepper finds he down the inside of Kimmy and down the inside of Pepper. What an opportunistic move from finds he's not going to be able to... He's not going to be able to get the overtake done, and Pepper's going to have a better run from both of them as well, so he's going to be able to easily re-overtake them. But that was an amazing move almost for Feinze, and Daniel's going to force Pepper to extend as far as he can into the grass. And now it is a four-way battle for the last podium position between Feinze, Pepper, Kimmy, and uh, Daniel. Excuse me. <laughs> I was looking for when I was going to mess that up, and there I did. And they're going to be three wide up the hill into turn nine. Finds he uh, jumps over the sausage curb, but he's gonna hold the podium. <laughs> Race control asking the drivers not to go three wide. <laughs> it is very entertaining, but it does lead to quite a few corner cuts, it seems. And Pepper goes very wide out of the and into the penultimate corner. And we are gonna go on board with Finds the I think Tyreward's catching Pepper off guard again. And oh, Messi's down the inside of, um, on us for the lead. He's going to have the lead. Big dive there up ahead from where we were on board with there. And he's going to have the lead. But on us, I'm sure, would love to make a move into turn four. We'll have to wait and see. As they head into it, we'll have to wait and see if he makes the late lunge. No, he does not. He will bide his time and maybe try to take better lines than Messi. But Messi seems to be just going very defensive into these corners. Parking it on the apex so the Anos does not send it down his inside. I mean, very like clipping of the sausage curb there. And I'm sure if there's something entertaining happening in that battle for P3, I'm sure my co commentator will let me know. As on the tracker, we can see Mutin is stopped on the side of the track as well now. Oh dear. And mutants flip, so this might be another caution. Another flip. At the same spot. Out here. Oh, Messi and Arnold are side by side. Mutants <clears throat> still on his roof. I don't think race control has noticed the flip. And there we go. We are going to have a caution. No race back and Messi's going to lead. Goodness gracious. I don't think Messi realized that that censored message was a caution. <laughs> I have not. Oh, they said it. And I don't. 
<laughs> I don't think either of them really. I don't think either I... of the real leaders realize they are yeah, amazing. Think... <laughs> there we go, race control go. and myself telling them so. They realize now we're under pace conditions. Messi will have to leave. <laughs> oh goodness! Very interesting racing today. A lot of pack racing. Oh no! Um, <laughs> oh no! Some a lot of flips. <laughs> Yeah, so far three cautions here, and there's the AMR safety oh, car being him, yeah. spawned from out of nowhere. I think it's being driven by clone as well, so... Oh no. <laughs> no, I, I'm uh... <laughs> no, I'm joking, clone. Please don't kill me. Something I have learned today with the pack racing, and I think the drivers should take note. Uh, a wise man once said, you always have to leave the space. And Shut I, I up, think they should be taking note here. Yeah, a little bit. Because race can... all these flips. Ooh. The pits are gonna be open, so once again, we're gonna and see air. we're gonna see may probably just yeah, just about everyone pits. And art might be yeah, okay. art retires. <laughs> and yeah, I Quite frankly I would not play. <laughs> And now we're gonna have to wait and see who wins to battle out the pit lane. It's gonna be Messi who managed to get ahead of Oh, finds he's able to steal P3 from Kimmy. I think or P yeah, P3 for the restart there. Very well done from Finesy there. Very opportunistic. I think Pepper wants to make an argument. I think Pepper's looking to make an argument that he got Kimmy as well. I didn't see it, but I think Kimmy has chose not to argue about it either. <laughs> Eaton coming so, in just trailing behind trying to look for a pit. So two cautions, two retirees. Ironically, one only one of the cautions were caused by a retiree now. <laughs> <laughs> someone in chat and someone in the chat in game is yelling that it's green and the drivers need to go, so <laughs> Yeah, a little bit out of the loop there. <laughs> Race <sighs> control getting into a direct confrontation with <laughs> onlooker. Oh, interesting. <laughs> Race control asking, asking the pace car, the AMR safety car, to slow down the leaders just a bit, however, Miaten has caught back up, so not much of a reason to do so anymore. Um, by the record of what has happened so far, we are <laughs> we are gonna be going green this time by once again, and I mean, so far the cautions have been led by a different person every time, the AMR safety car now leads the, leaves the leaders to their own power and just so I mean this is turning out to be an interesting race and we get ready to go green Messi will lead so we'll have to wait and see how well on odds is able to predict his moves I don't know if I'm ready to see what's gonna happen here and they are we are green oh dear here and already <laughs> find the and Pepper side by side into turn one. But we'll stay on board with Messi, who is probably going to have a very. Yep, there we go. Anna's looking for the inside. He's not close to, close enough to make a move. Pepper able to make a move for P3 on Feinzi, though. And Feinzi's going to be down to P4. And we're going to go on board with Feinzi now. Who has Pepper right in front of him and Kimmy right behind him. Art did retire during that caution as everyone was going in. Oh, Kimmy down the inside of Feinzi. Trying to make a move stick. But it's not going to... He's not going to have a good line out of that corner. Out of turn five, I should say. And actually, Feinzi is able to make the pressure from behind an advantage for putting pressure behind on Pepper. I don't even know what I'm trying to say anymore. <laughs> 
Messi still leads, but Ana is, is not far behind him. Um, Pepper holds on to P3, but finds he's not far behind him either. And King down the inside of Pumpkin behind these two. Messi very wide into the penultimate corner. He might have met, might have compromised this corner there as well. We'll go on board with Messi, who's going to have a very, very hungry Ana behind him. Hungry for the win here in a while. Looking down the inside of the hairpin, he's close enough that he doesn't need a break too late to get down the inside. And Messi looks to try and make a switchback move oh, work. We have a Ana driver go wide. It is pump he has flipped. He has flipped. In turn two. Pun. <laughs> <laughs> and we are under <laughs> caution again <laughs> as Pumpkin goes flipping into the gravel and I believe I believe we're not ha I believe we're having a race back here race control never said we weren't so they're gonna have a race back on us looking to restart this race in the lead and finds you Really wanting to restart this race in P3. We'll go on board with him as he's trying to put pressure onto Pepper. Went over a sausage curb, compromised his run. So it might not work out for him, but however, he might have the perfect seat to watch Pepper. Almost go side by side with Messi, but I'm not. Oh, Pepper into the pit barrier! Oh, and he gets collected by King as well. He's gonna go far down the order. From P. From P3 to P8, Pepper into the barrier on the race back. Of all things, we were already under caution. And now Pepper is further down the order. <laughs> oh man, things just go bad to worse for Pepper this race, I guess. Well, I mean, things were never really going bad, so excuse me. I'm a little wrong there. On odds will lead. For the restart, Messi will have P2, Feinze will be P3, Kemi will be P4, and Seneca will be P5. There's your top 5 there for this restart, and it's going to be interesting to see if anyone pits this time. I really doubt it, because they've barely even done a lap. <laughs> Race control telling the leaders they can speed up just a little bit until the back stretch just to allow for the caution process to be sped up. I don't think Onos realizes that he just went through the back stretch so he needs to be slowing down now. I think he's realized it now. <laughs> I, I mean, I, I think, I mean, it's going to be interesting. This is probably one of the few times we'll see people not pit. And, well, I guess Daniel is going to be your new leader as he's the only person that does not pit at all. No. Oh, and Messi's missed his pit ball. Messi has missed his pit stall as well. So, a little bit of a sale, a little bit of a bad thing there. Oh, and Anos is gonna push Messi out of his pit stall, and that's <laughs> that, was, uh -huh. that was a little weird. Uh, yeah. I think Messi's just gonna have to hold on to P3. Anything can happen in the car. <laughs> I am now thoroughly convinced. Oh dear. Right and I think Anna, I think Anna, I don't think Anna's realized that Daniel didn't pit. Daniel will be the leader. And so <laughs> I don't think they realized, they're realizing it now that the leader is up the road from them <laughs> because he did not pit. <laughs> So Daniel will lead, and once again we have another person leading on yet another caution. I don't know thing. Going from and another restart. Oh. <laughs> and now Messi seems to be suffering from an electronical issue as well in his vehicle. Race control ordering Daniel, our current leader, to slow down on the back stretch to allow for Messi to catch up. That's the electronical issue. Seems to be a bit of a game glitch. 
So nothing more he could do there. So race control trying to at least let him catch up a little bit here. And I mean, um, yeah, this is about to be interesting as I believe we go get the green this time by. We are going to go green this time by. Arnold's backed up the pack here. And we are green. Daniel will lead it, but he's had a bit of a late restart. Arnold's already looking to try and make a move as soon as possible. Oh, and Daniel oh. over the bump. A very... Oh my god, barely misses the tire barrier. And Arnold's will hold on to the lead now. And race control was not lying when they said that a new sausage curb had been placed. Oh my god. Almost killed Daniel. Arnold's will have to lead. Nathan will be P2. <laughs> Finds he will be P3, but maybe not. <laughs> maybe not for long. They're gonna go three, almost three one to turn four. Not slight. Not. S I don't know what I'm trying to say anymore. Cool, anyways, they didn't go three white, they almost did, but they didn't. Finds will hold on to P2 now, Nathan will be P3, Arnold's will have the lead. And, I mean, Daniel had a decent restart up until turn one. <laughs> Where the drivers learned the hard way that there's a new sausage curb in place. And, I mean, uh, I'm sure... That that won't draw any complaints from anyone. Oh, and Daniel hard into the outside wall there, and oh, I think yeah. he might have discon. No, he he might have disconnected or something. Just some sort of. I'm not entirely sure what that was all about. But now he's gonna be towards the back of the field as well. So from bad to even to even worse somehow for Daniel. <laughs> if I didn't even think there would have been a worse for him. Daniel said that he partially lagged out for a second. He's back at the moment at least, so he's able to control his car. But again, not exactly what you would like when you were just leading the race just a lap ago. <laughs> we will be on board with Feinze who, who, here who actually will go on board with Nathan who's looking to put pressure on Feinze. And I mean, as I was saying earlier, I mean, if you want to talk about someone who has had an underrated and... Were we under the radar season so far? Nathan still carrying his team in the standings, still getting consistent finishes for the most part, like the other drivers in this championship battle. I mean, he is still within a shot of the championship. However, I think I will stop talking before I cause a bit of a commentator's curse. <laughs> I have to say, after all the laps had drivers have run into the pit barrier i commend them for being brave enough to continue <laughs> oh nathan down the inside of finesy finesy i think just overshot the hairpin a little bit they're gonna be side by side i think finesy might just barely have a bit of a better run do you say <laughs> race control is congratulating the drivers for basically Treating the pit wall as a Monaco barrier and have <laughs> fun. And I think finds he might have a bit of a switchback going on Nathan here. Oh, yes, Nathan very wide. That's gonna really allow finds to overtake them. And we're under caution again. And looking at the tracker, I believe it's gonna be messy this time. Yes, it is messy. Okay, He's good. able to, he is able to get back going. And it is gonna be a race back. And we're gonna see if you have oh actually Nathan's very wide is gonna allow pepper to restart p3 I think and it is so on us will lead under caution finds the mp2 pepper and p3 Nathan and p4 and a very very large cluster of drivers from there <laughs> race control we're trying to investigate what's going on with turn oh two. my god there's a bump <laughs> there's a bump in the grass i think something weird in the grass of turn on the outside of turn one very strange bump as well i mean it's so it's far off the track is the thing so the drivers that are flipping there are evidently going far off the track into the grass to try and take advantage of a bit of a 
lack of a corner cut detector there, but there's some sort of bump right where the brake markers are. It's are gonna be open. No. It's are gonna be open, and I don't know why Nathan has decided to corner cut turn four to try and overtake Feinstein and Pepper. But here we are. <laughs> that was very strange to watch. And so on as we lead. Picks are gonna be open as we said, and I'm sure no one will pit this time. <laughs> Missy gradually catching up at turn 10 now. So, and he is caught up to the back. So Not the pits aren't open, the pots are open according to race control. <laughs> and so far, are the pants open as well? Can, oh, that can, guy's ran into the Barry. <laughs> Kimmy Pitt is the only one that hasn't pit so far. I saw multiple drivers basically sideways in the pit lane because of contact. Pepper's already out of his pit stall, but he's not going to be able to beat Anna out of the pit lane. He will be able to beat Nathan, though. And Cyber will just barely be able to get in front of Messi there. So Kimmy will be your race leader now. Huh. And once again, we have someone else leading for the restart. And once again, it is on us in P2, and I don't think he's one. And I think he's once again <laughs> realized <laughs> that the leader is up the road and not him. <laughs> There's a little bit of maybe quarrel. Comp Pumpkin does not seem to be pleased with King right now passing in pits, apparently. <laughs> and there was a there was a lot of contact there we saw in the background as the leaders did pit, so probably something to do along those lines of that. Why is King off to the side of the road on turn six? What has happened to King <laughs> actually? Oh uh, well he is out the back of the pack now. <laughs> Here we are. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to IndyCar and the Puma Series. Goodness gracious. <laughs> and he is just going to retake his position. Uh, okay. That is... Well, I mean, if race control doesn't say he can't, then I guess he's allowed to. We're gonna go green okay. this time by... With 10 laps to go here in Ohio. Kimmy will be your leader this time. As we get going, hopefully for the final time, King into the wall there. I guess a little bit of input lag. We're going to see if that sausage curb cat sending one. Oh, it caught King out, but he's able to keep going. Only a minor bit of contact with the curb there. Kimmy holding the lead. Oh, no, sends it down the inside. Sends it too deep. Forces Kimmy Bingo. wide. King's oh, yeah. into the outside wall there. Anas will have to lead Peppers right beside him. We will go on board with Pepper for one of the few times this race, and it is almost a five-way battle for the lead. We'll have to see if this maintains itself during the rest of the race, though. Oh, and Pepper's gonna go wide here, and that's gonna allow Nathan and Cynical to overtake him. But he's gonna have to o inside line for turn six. A much better line there. And Arnold's will have to lead. And I mean, so far it has, <laughs> so far it has been proven that having, that being the leader by the out of the hairpin really is beneficial, as you just get out of all the drama. However, Arnold's may not want to get too comfortable where he is, Pepper. Starting to slightly catch up with him out of the final corner as well. Kemi now will have to hold on to P3 for Nathan and Feinze, who's had a pretty good restart. At least I, I'm i pretty sure Feinze's had a pretty good restart. And <laughs> I didn't exactly catch it. And I mean... Oh man! Very chaotic race. We are gonna go on board with 
Kimmy, if I can find his name. Kimmy, our leader from the restaurant, now facing pressure from Finds. He finds he's probably gonna be looking for his inside. Or turn four. No, Kimmy just overshoots the corner a bit though. He's gonna go wide. Finds he's gonna take a tighter line. Get the outside line of turn six. Maybe looking to get on the inside of turn seven. They're gonna be side by side up the hill. And going down the hill, I think finds he might have it. There's no way to know though. They're still side by side. They're gonna go uphill into the final few corners. And they're still side by side. What a minute. Oh, oh, and Pumpkin, what has happened to Pumpkin? It's a, a less invisible wall again. <laughs> oh my goodness. So an invisible barrier, not Pumpkin's friend by any means. <sighs> now finds he's gonna have to inside of Kimmy. Going into the hairpin, Kimmy tried to close the door at the last second, made a bit of contact, and now even Nathan's going to be down his inside as well. The outside line just proving to be a lot slower than what these drivers thought, and Kimmy making a lot of contact with Nathan as well. Not enough to make it any harm, and now going into turn four, Kimmy's basically just fighting to keep the positions that he can. Oh, dear. oh, Nathan hard into the wall. <laughs> <laughs> Shoots across the cr and across the track. Did not take the racing line, it seems. I... That is one way to put it for sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we will go on board with Nathan now as they go himself and Messi go too wide into the penultimate corner. Almost pin, almost side by side. He is going to send it down the inside of both Messi and Daniel, who both make contact into the outside wall. Oh my goodness, how have none of them hit the pit barrier? Oh my goodness, they're very, very close battle here for what would be essentially P6, I think. Oh my goodness, almost all of them over that sausage curb. <laughs> and we're going to probably see Nathan down the inside of Daniel. Daniel tried to close the door, made contact, bumped, and Dan... But uh, bump Nathan, Jesus Christ, I'm starting to die. And I mean, it is like we have an entire six-way battle for P6 going on here. And we will run on board when Nathan still Daniel down his inside. Nathan down his inside. Nathan's on his roof. Nathan has flipped over the side <laughs> of Daniel uh, after uh. going above the sausage curbs, and we are gonna have another caution. Nathan <laughs> claiming it was not his fault by any means. And to be fair, it really wasn't the driver. He was down the inside. It was took the apex, took the apex as if he wasn't even there. And I mean. As I and Nathan earlier. sends it into the side of Kimmy, and that definitely is not a legal move. I really hate to admit it, but I think a phrase control doesn't say anything about it. Wink, wink, DSA, Nathan. No, I'm <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Nathan will restart P4 after basically cutting the final corner and sending it into the side. Oh, and Kimmy retaliates and forces him into the wall. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my dear. Oh, oh my goodness. Nathan sent, sent it down the inside of Kimmy in the final corner, and Kimmy just catches mm -hmm. back up and forces him into the tire barrier. And Kimmy I, certainly reminded me of another Kimmy. From and, a and I and I really don't think that this argument is over. However, Nathan's now trying to re-overtake back into his position. Kimmy, I think, doing so as well. Well, it's not breaking it by any chance. I... <laughs> oh, man. Oh, Pets are open this time by. Pepper goes very wide, but however, we are still under caution, so... One in the world. Uh, referring to the Miaton Nathan. situation earlier, as I stated, and rather quoted, all the time you have to leave this place. Oh... No warning from race control, Nathan will go to the back of the pack, so I think he's just gonna punish himself before race control and control can think of it of doing so. <laughs> 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 
And now we get ready to see who does and doesn't pit once again. And I mean, with only a few laps left to go, it's going to be interesting. Kimmy, Kimmy once again, Kimmy once again does not pit, so does Pumpkin. And we're going to have to see if Miatin pits. It does look like he is. Now we will lower the camera here to see who wins out the pit lane. It's going to be yeah. on us. Daniel was cyber and then finds the now they're three wide messy was basically on top of pepper as they went out the pit lane there And with nothing Nathan and messy <laughs> I am witnessing me to I don't even know how oh his car has gone that much of an angle Race control asking Kimmy and pumpkin to start pacing now <clears throat> Oh goodness. So once again, <laughs> once again, <laughs> we have Anna's being the leaders of the people who did pit this time. We're going to have basically four, I think four laps to go. Three to four laps to go. I'm not entirely sure. I think actually three laps to go once we go green. No, four laps to go. Excuse me. Yeah. Yep. We yep, will have four. Um, we will have four laps to go as we get ready to go green for hopefully the final time here in Ohio. However, with how close to racing has been this race, I highly doubt it. <laughs> and certainly, with them all having fresh tires and having that need to obtain the win or at least a podium, you certainly know that they will be racing even harder. And we will be green this time by, and I think Pep and Pumpkin might have just barely gotten a better restart. Oh, Zana's really good restart. He's going to bump Kimmy. He's going to go very wide. And he's into the Kimmy. tire barrier. No. Oh, oh. oh no. Oh, and, oh, man, the tire work just caught him off. And now Dan Daniel cuts through the hairpin, um, cuts through the grass to get into P2. He's going to be side by side with Cyber. I have no idea if Kimmy was sent wide because of contact with Anna's or not. I wasn't able, I wasn't really able to tell. Uh, race control yeah. saying they will not be rewarding a penalty to Anna's. Uh, by and, all, I mean, I mean, it's just the chaos of the restart. Final. We will go and on board with Cyber when the spectate system feels like working. Jesus Christ. Um, Cynic will hold on to P2 from basically out of nowhere. Jesus. I mean, Cynic will restart this race in P7. He's up into P2. So there's how chaotic this restart has been. And there is a three-way battle, quite literally, for the last podium position. Pepper, however, seems to be holding on to it. We have three laps to go here in Ohio. Wait, no, we... No, yeah, we have three laps to go. Never mind. Um, <laughs> and now Daniel's looking down the inside of Cyber, maybe into the hairpin. Cyber closes the door. And, I mean... Excuse me. Okay, excuse me times two. Jesus. Pepper is starting to catch up to Cynical, and we will go on board with him as he begins to catch up for P2. And I mean, this is very crucial for the championship battle. Oh, and Daniel's on his roof! Daniel's on his roof out of turn four, oh, and we're going to have another man. caution, and we are going to have probably a very, very last lap sprint if we're able to. I don't know. I would certainly hope that at least that will be the case. <laughs> and they're certainly one of the back. most dangerous things in the world, though. Ah, no, it's being in pole position. Oh, one lap caution. Oh, so dear. race control. So we are gonna have basically one lap of racing left. It is gonna be this lap of caution. No other cautions will be called, and it is just gonna be a one lap dash to the end. And Anna's, I, I mean. Anna's, I'm sure, does not like this idea too much. <laughs> well, Just, knowing his skill, he should be able to uphold himself pretty well here. Yes, he has. So far, I've, I haven't really seen anything from race control. It really has felt like Anna's has just 
really been able to main just really been able to have a large advantage over the other drivers at the restarts. So maybe some sort of well-timed starting there or some sort of thing that we'll have to get looked at later. But for now, we get ready to basically have a one lap dash here at Ohio and I'm not sure if my co-commentator has been recording so far, but I'm pretty sure now is the time to start it. <laughs> Cause this mm. could be absolute chaos. <clears throat> I am preparing with the camera. At this rate, I'm just gonna use my phone camera here from the commentator's box. Okay, maybe not do that, but... <laughs> <laughs> well, if we get any further from... Then just a starting line without a wreck, then it will have been a miracle. Just... Race control, I think, tried to tell the drivers to stop before the downhill section. However, you can't exactly stop these cars once they're downhill. So they're going to be stopping here on the back stretch. And very quickly, I'll go over the order of how this restart's going to go. On us will have the lead followed by Cynical, Pepper, Cyber, Messi, Feinze, Mutant, Pumpkin. Nathan, Kimmy, King, and Daniel will finally be able to catch back up. And I have, I have misjudged the pit camera. We are going to get ready to go green for probably the final time here in Ohio. Single file restart. They approach the restart zone. Anos is your leader, but will he hold on to it for the rest of the race? We are green here in Ohio. And already Cynical is looking to m looking to try and make a move for the lead. He'll probably have room for it in the hairpin. We're probably gonna see a lot of lunches, so get ready for it, boys. Brace for him, Pat. <laughs> they go through the hairpin. A lot of contacts. Nathan's very wide. And Pepper's very wide into the gravel as well. Very large battle for P3. Four-way battle. Unless Mutant's able to make it a five-way battle and Cynical's right on the tail of Anas as they head into turn four. And I mean, Cynical's... Mm, I'm, I'm pretty sure Cynical's here just trying to wait for the perfect opportunity, but there's really not a lot of overtaking corners in this sector. And I mean, so far Anas has been quicker than him in this sector, but he's still able to keep up. Messi's gonna be up into P3 now. I, some sort of mistake from Pepper there. And are we gonna see a last ditch effort from Cynical to take the lead of the Ohio Mid-Ohio Grand Prix? It's not close enough. Messi's gonna send it down the inside of Cynical though, and he's gonna Hold on for P2. Messi steals P2 at the line. And Anas will win here in mid-Ohio. Pepper will be P4. And I think... Oh, pretty good on the phone camera. And just about everyone slams him to the wall after that because no one cares. <laughs> and I am... I am 90% sure Anos has just won the race and then immediately left. <laughs> and that was an amazing pass from Messi there. Final corner. I am being told by one of the drivers that Anos had to go because he had to go play Rocket League. So uh, <laughs> take that as you will. You're a race winner. And mid Ohio is on us, and I mean, very strong performance here. I mean, he's basically been at the front for every restart. But I mean, let's talk about that move from Messi as well. Very, very large send into the final corner, but he was able to keep it clean. Basically, no contact between the two as well, besides this little bit of a bump. Really well done from Messi. Unfortunate for Seneca, I'm sure he would have loved to win it, but unfortunately he just went backwards. Really unfortunate for Pepper as well, especially with the championship going on. And I mean, Anas will definitely be enjoying this. Large lead he has as just about everyone starts doing more laps, so... Here's the hoping that DSA was able to get a screenshot of the results.
And yes, he did. So your winner in mid-Ohio is on us, followed by Messi and then Cynical. Pepper misses out on the podium, and I'm sure he will not be happy with that result, especially, especially with the championship battle the way it is. And with how really much else to say, any final words from my own commentator here, Juan? I... There was an upshot race. <laughs> That's all I can muster, muster in my mind. Say here, <laughs> it was an absurd race. Entertaining, heartbreaking, but ultimately, hopefully the drivers had fun. Hopefully, y'all enjoyed watching. Yes, indeed. If you did enjoy, would like. If you did enjoy watching like that video you know <laughs> maybe subscribe check we out are, the discord you know we only have two races left in the season road atlanta and the indy 500 and i mean if the indy 500 interests in you i mean i believe it is an open event for anyone to attend all you have to do is qualify to make it into the race and i mean i'm sure that'll be interesting to watch <laughs> oh man but without much further ado I will see you all next weekend. Thank you for watching, and we will all see you at Road Atlanta for the penultimate round of the Pumu IndyCar Series.